people and to the Almighty that I have been given a clear mandate to govern the country for four more years and thereby given the opportunity to complete tasks, consolidate some of the more, some of the far-reaching measures we have introduced and initiate further changes and adjustments to policies and practices. The Constitution demands that we go to the people after four years to ask for a mandate, and we must listen to the voice of the people. I said during the election campaign, and it is my firm and passionate view that I should only be president in a fairly conducted election, which I believe in all sincerity the election of 7th December was. I recognize that my main, my main opponent in the election, the former president John Dramani Mahama, has gone to the Supreme Court to seek its intervention and grant reliefs that he believes were compromised in the conduct of the elections. It is good for the nation that in the end he chose the legal path. Instead of the pockets of violence that have attended the rejection of the results by his party in the period after the elections. We all have to make a deliberate decision to invest in the rule of law and uphold the integrity of the institutions of our state so that no person or group of persons take the law into their own hands with impunity. Mr. Speaker, it has been my great pleasure and exceptional privilege these four years to have served as President of our beloved country. I'm grateful to you, this Honorable House, for its cooperation in the enterprise to attain our common goal and aspiration of advancing the peace, progress and welfare of the Ghanaian people. I will see some of you in February. And those of you who will not be present have my best wishes for the future. May God bless the Parliament of the Fourth Republic and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.